A mother with two young children is about to be evicted from their home with nowhere to go. The family was approved for a housing assistance program through a nonprofit ministry. The problem is they haven't received a dime and they say they can't get any straight answers from their ministry. So they turn to ABC 13's Brooke Taylor. Brooke, what do you know right now? Well, Josephine Perez works at a cafeteria and she says she loves working with students at the school, but unfortunately she says the job doesn't pay well. So she was crammed in a one bedroom apartment with her husband and two kids. When she moved into this home behind me, she says it was a dream until we got involved. She was worried she'd have to move her family back out. They've even started to do their height on the door, as you can see. Josephine Perez says it's a dream that her two kids get their own bedrooms. Just months ago, her family was crammed in a one bedroom apartment. My husband and I were sleeping on the floor because that's what we could afford at the time. You know, I wanted my kids to be comfortable. Perez saw a flyer and was approved for a housing assistance program through the Chosen Ones Ministry. We got a copy of the eligibility certification signed by the ministry in December. She moved her family into a new home in Rosenberg, but her landlord said he wasn't getting paid. There was a, a letter posted on my door saying that I needed to vacate. ABC 13 got in touch with a former caseworker who says she thought the family was eligible for the program. But then the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs said to qualify, someone in the family has to have a disability. Perez says her son does have a disability, so the caseworker told her she had to reapply. But Perez hasn't been able to get a straight answer about where the case stands and when they'll get the money. I can't move out of here now. My kids are happy. They're thriving, you know, and I don't want to disappoint them. After months of this family desperate for answers, not knowing where they'll live, we got in touch with a spokesperson from the state. According to them, it's up to the ministry to pay the landlord and the state then reimburses them. The state didn't get corrected paperwork until this month and says they never got a request for reimbursement. Hours after reaching out, a spokesperson says they approved this family and they're working with the ministry so they can stay put. And while we were able to help Perez and her children, she wonders how many other families were falsely approved by the ministry. You're supposed to be helping people not be homeless and families not be homeless and you're putting us in this predicament. And I did get in touch with the Reverend just a few minutes ago. He called me back. He says he is thankful for our story also for pushing the state along. He blames the state for taking too long and says their hands are tied by them. I asked if he plans on paying the landlord and then requesting that reimbursement. He says yes. When I asked him when, he didn't give me an exact date, but we're going to follow up next week to make sure that's being done. We're live in Rosenberg. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.